Hello, welcome to Just Drive. And as part of this video, we are going to see the operators like pre, post, increment, and decrement operator. How to use it, and what is the basic difference between these two operators? And we are going to see with some of the realistic examples. Okay. So first, let I mean let go to the, our Eclipse, and we are going to write a simple uh, program. Okay. So as part of our previous videos, we have already installed Eclipse in our machine. And now I'm going to open the Eclipse from my machine, which is available as a shortcut in my machine. Let me click it. So Eclipse is opening now. Launch our workspace. Yes. So Eclipse is launched. So now I'm going to create a simple Java program. So by using that program, we are going to see this pre and post increment and decrement operator with examples. Okay, as part of the previous uh, uh, program like like variables and data types, we have already created a new program. So inside that program itself, I'm going to write a new Java program. Let me create a new Java class. I'm going to give the program name as operators demo. Okay, and finish it. So I just now I created a Java program name is operators demo and the file name and class name I had given same name so that I mean Eclipse won't give any problem otherwise Eclipse will not agree to create a I mean class name and file name is a different name. Okay, so now what I had to do I had to write a simple a main method. So how to write it public static void main and then I need to pass the string array as an argument string box array okay so this is the basic and simple Java program we have written so far so in this program we have already saw many times in our previous examples okay now the first one we are going to see pre increment operator so what is pre increment operator okay okay so now <clears throat> i'll give an example let me take an integer a data type integer x equal to 5 okay so int is a data type and x is a variable name and 5 is a value so the variables and data types we have already I mean seen in the previous video what is a variable and what is a data type so why we are using it so how to pick the variables and data types as part of the previous video we had gone through all those steps okay so now i had a scenario here if i want to increment the x value to one more say for instance now i want to increment the value from current value to one more value one 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 plus actually so that's what my requirements so what i want to say here i want to increment x plus one and the same value should be assigned to x equal to x plus one so whatever the current currently x is having with that particular value i want to add plus one so that's what i want to try to do here so now x will become currently x is having five and i'm trying to add one so x will become here six so basically so in java we can able to add a comments single line comments with the help of double slash so if you see here right double slash six is a comment so now if I want to see the x is what is the real value it is contained so I need to print the x value so how to print the value we have to write system dot out dot print ln so now I I want to print the x value so now let me run this program and see what is x currently is having so to run this program and to see the output can see here there is a right arrow you can directly click here and we can able to see the value is 6 so basically initially the x is containing 5 after adding plus 1 the x will become 6 okay so this is straightforward we can able to do it now I want to make this particular statement a little bit simpler so how to do it okay now I want to execute the same statement with the help of shorthand form 
like this if you see this statement is similar to the previous one so here also what i'm trying to do here so the x currently whatever the value it is having i'm trying to add plus one okay now let me run it and see the output so here also we are getting same output 5 plus 1 6 so this is a shorthand form compared to the previous one so this is also giving same value so i'm just trying to comment this particular line by giving double slash so these are sing as a single line comments okay so now what i want to do here right so i want to perform the same operation but still i want to minimize it so how to minimize it so we can able to minimize in a two ways like i said pre or post increment operators first we will see the post increment operators so x plus plus colon so what i am trying to do here x is we have already defined a variable and we are adding plus plus now let me run this program and see the output value but still we are getting 6 so this is also fine so what are we we are trying to minimize the operators what we are using compared to the previous lines 8 9 number of lines and 10 so this current line is very minimized and we are getting same results over here so, okay but still now i want to use another operator like pre increment so what is this plus plus x colon so this is called as a pre increment operator this is a post increment operator so now let me run this one and see the output so here also i am getting same output as a 6 whether i am using pre increment or post increment so now the main question here so what is the basic difference between pre increment and post increment so in both the cases we are getting same output so then why we need uh, these operators if, are, if it is giving same results in, in all the cases but why we need these operators so this is the main question and we are going to understand the answer for this one okay so now i'm going to give another example or i'm going to modify the same program in a different way so right now what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to pin the value as it is no i don't want to pin the value as it is i want to apply the post increment so this is called as a post increment so now let me run the program and see the output so if you see here right so the output is giving as a 5 okay now let me print the x value again i'll just copy the same line paste into here and i don't want to give any operators over here so now let me run the same program again over here see so if you see here right so the first sysout we got an output as a 5 and the second sysout we got an output as x so what is this statement will do so the the selected statement will do so basically whenever we are using post increment operator it will try to pin the value as it is the whatever the variable we are trying to apply the operator once the that particular line execution is done then it will increment the value so due to that the second printer and statement which is giving x plus 1 6 so that is the uh, usage of post increment okay now let me run the same program uh, with the help of pre increment okay now save it and run the program so now i'm trying to use pre increment if you see here right so now both the uh, sys source we got the same output so at line number 13 what is happening here so whenever we are applying pre increment first it will increment the i mean operator and value whatever variable we are using then it will assign or it will execute the statement so that's what we are getting first it will try to increment the value 5 plus 1 6 then it is trying to print the value so that's what we are seeing 6 here and the second statement anyway the x is already 6 so we are directly printing here so this is the basic difference between pre increment and post increment operators so pre increment it will write first it will write increment the value then it will execute that particular line whereas post increment first it will assign the value to the current line whatever wherever it is executed then it will increment the value so this is one of the basic difference between pre and post increment operators okay now similarly <coughs> we have another operator called pre and post 
decrement operator so this is also same only the difference here so here decrement will happen so let me see some of the examples for that one as well so we are going to see here pre comma post decrement operator so let me take another example integer y equal to 10 so here I have taken a, a variable called y and type is integer and the value is 10 so now what I want to do here I want to decrease 1 from the current value so how to do it so generally what we are doing y equal to y minus 1 so this is the way we are going to a minus or remove one value from the current value so if I print the value what will happen so far how we are printing the system dot out dot println we are using to print the value and every time we are trying to write system dot out dot println eclipse will give a shortcut for you um, to generate this particular statement with a simple way you can write syout you just write syout and press ctrl enter so then it will generate the system dot out dot printer so you no need to type this statement manually so this is one of the shortcut so i'm going forward i'm going to use the, the shortcut okay so now we have a integer y is a variable and i want to decrement one value so i'm trying to use y equal to y minus one i'm printing the value okay now just to see the output i'm going to just comment out these two statements so that it will not give any confusion for us yes i just commented out the pre post uh, decrement when operate decrement operators now let me run our program yes so this is what we're expecting so y equal to y minus 1 y is having currently 10 and we are trying to decrement 1 so the final value become 9 this is very clear okay so now let me make it a um, little bit short yes so this is a shorthand form basically so this is also similar similar to the previous one y equal to minus one and let me run the output and we will see the results so here also we are getting similarly nine so let me make it um, some more shorter form so this is called as a post decrement operator so this is a post decrement operator and now let me run the program and see the output yes so here also we are getting 9 and all these three statements will giving the same results okay let me comment it out okay now i'm going to apply the pre decrement operator so here also we can get similar output right so this this both of the lines is giving same results but why we need this operator so like we see in the previous example i'm going to apply here post decrement operator now see the results so we are getting nine so whenever we are applying post decrement operator oh sorry so we need to comment out this one yes so now we are applying here post decrement operator and i am going to run the program and see the result so here we are getting 10 so in this particular statement so first it will assign y to the printing purpose after that it will decrement the value to see the decremented value so we need to write another sysout So here I just want to see the actual current or current value. So we will just run the program again. So we can see at line number 26, it's not decrementing, it's just giving the value as it is to the print and statement. After that, once this uh, this this line is executed, then it is trying to remove one from the y. Then the final value become 9. So that's what second sysout is giving 9. So this is the basic difference between uh, pre and post increment and decrement operator. Okay, now I'm going to give one, one more example so that it will give more sense. Okay. Let me take uh, <coughs> one more 
variable called integer p equal to sorry integer p uh, variable and i am trying to apply x plus plus x okay so what i am trying to do here i have taken a variable called integer uh, p and i am trying to give plus plus x and i know i want to fill the values this is out first i want to print the p value and then i want to print x value okay let's maximize this one okay so first what i am trying to do here i created a variable p of type integer and a value i'm assigning to this variable pre increment x okay first what this statement will do first it will increment the value then it will assign to the p so that's what line number 29 will execute then we are going to see the current and latest values to see these two values we are going to run the program and see the output so let me minimize it you can see the values over here so here we are getting the output as 6 and 6 so this is very clear so the x is currently is having value is 5 and what we are trying to do here when we are applying pre increment operator so it will first increment the value then it will assign to the p okay then it will come to the next line it will print the value so it is trying to display 5 plus 1 6 and similarly currently x is having 6 and it is printing the 6 6 so now i am going to apply the next operator over here post increment okay now if you if you run this program what will happen at currently at line number 29 x is having 5 and it's a post increment so first it will assign the value to the p after that it increment the value to plus 1 okay so when you run this program what will happen at line number 29 so the p is having currently the value is 5 and the next print alert will display x is 6 because uh, because this is a post increment operator so that's what at line number 31 we can see the 5 and line number 32 we can see the 6 so this is the basic difference between pre and post increment and decrement operator and let let me run this program and show you the output so we can get 5 and 6 yeah, this is the basic difference between pre and post increment and decrement operator so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates and thank you